Justin from Salty Toad Fishing here. So what I want to go over with you guys today is shrimp and pretty much how shrimp look in the wild um, and how I use these types of baits to try to mimic a live shrimp. So when shrimp are out there, pretty much what they're doing is they're either, you know, they're either using those little legs and they're just kind of walking around the bottom and uh, using their little, you know, hands, we'll call them, to pick up any type of uh, food that they can eat and pretty much they'll eat anything they can get their little hands on. Um, so they'll eat, you know, algae or plankton or stuff like that. Um, though one other thing that they'll do when they're in the water is you'll see they use those little legs there and they'll swim throughout the water column. They can go all, you know, all different water columns um, they can cover. Um, and then the last thing that they, they'll do is they'll use their little tail when they feel threatened and they'll pop it and um, it'll allow them to escape danger uh, in many cases. So what I'm going to do when I'm using a shrimp bait is I'm either going to put it under a popping cork. Um, because what that allows me to do is keep it in a certain, certain water column where I know the fish are um, so that hopefully you're keeping it right in the strike zone. Um, typically what I'll do first is I will use either my fish finder or I'll use another bait to try to locate those fish and find out if they're on the bottom, you know, if they're in the middle water column, higher water column. And that's where I'm going to set, you know, um, that's how long I'm going to, of a leader I'm going to use uh, to get it in the strike zone. Um, now I don't use a popping cork a whole lot so what I typically do when I'm using a shrimp bait is I'm going to use as lightweight as possible um, and I'm going to if I know fish are there what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast out um, I'm just going to reel up my slack and more or less I'm going to let that shrimp drift down into the strike zone and I'm just going to wait for the strike um, you don't have to do a whole lot with a shrimp bait um, and then if I don't get a bite what I'll do is just kind of you know pop it up a few times and I'll let it drift back down pop it up a few times let it drift back down um, because more or less all I'm trying to do is get it in front of that fish's face and uh, typically if a fish sees a shrimp right in front of it, it's going to eat it. So um, anyways, I got some footage here of how I use these baits um, and how I've been successful with them in the past. So I know everybody uses them their own way and there's a lot of different you know brands and colors, um, but I just want to share with you guys a couple of different ways that I use them. So I hope you guys enjoy the footage and uh, stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next one. All right guys, so I'm switching over to a Power prawn, it's from Salt Strong, um, with a chartreuse tail, and I have a three eighths, three eighths uh, weighted hook on there. Um, it's uh, one of the Hoss Helix hooks, which is pretty much the same thing as an owner twist lock. Um, so this thing should get down. Take a minute, but it, it'll get down. So this type of fishing, we're in like eight, nine feet of water. Um, I got the three eighths weighted hook, so it's just kind of slowly dropping down. And then what happens is once it gets to the bottom, you'll see instead of like a little john where I real quick will go, you know, twitch, twitch real fast. The little john, you want it to dart real quick. Um, it'll work for this, but um, I'll, I'll kind of switch it up. I'll do that sometimes. Sometimes I'll do much slower, softer, you know, twitches on the rod, you'll see that I'll kind of, you know, just pop it up, pop it up, you know, sometimes a couple times like that. Oh, on the drop. Oh, come back. I smacked on the drop. There we go. Ah, that's a good one. See, I was just giving it that, that slow pop. Making it look like that shrimp's just kind of hopping along the bottom, and then they can't resist. Another fat trout. Another pretty fish. Let's go. On the drop. Oh, I lost it. Oh, again. 
Hit it again. That might be a drum. Probably is a drum. Yeah, it's gotta be a drum. This little red drum. Caught that on a uh, power prone, Brazilian power prone. drop a nice one too and I was giving it all day Probably beats the other ones now. That's not the last time, but this one's bigger. I think this is over 20. Egg. Nice one. 